So how does one really know if they're deficient in bile? What is bile? Bile is a detergent, okay? It helps you break down the fats, it helps you break them down, and it helps you extract the fat soluble vitamins and other essential fats like omega-3 fatty acids. Without bile, you can't pull those into the body. But bile does a lot more than that. It helps keep your microbial balance in check. It helps keep the fat from building up in the liver. It helps remove toxic waste through the body. It helps eliminate the excess of cholesterol that your body doesn't need. It even helps lubricate the colon to allow food to go through the body a lot easier. So number one, if you're deficient, you're gonna usually be low in one of the fat soluble vitamins. Um, so vitamin A, there's a lot of symptoms, but uh, one would be you can't see in the dark too well, you're driving, you can't see at night too well. Uh, vitamin D deficiency, bone pain, lowered mood, because one of the symptoms of vitamin D is uh, depression, it could be lower immune system, it could be many different things. Psoriasis is, would be one. And if you're low in vitamin E, which is a fat soluble vitamin, you might have dry skin, you may have hot flashes, chest pain, but the big one is weak muscles. Because without vitamin E, you just don't have the level of oxygen for the muscles to work effectively. And then vitamin K1, you'll get bruising. Vitamin K2, you could have a lot of issues. You could have kidney stones, you could have calcified arteries, you could have high blood pressure from that. You can even have um, calcium deposits in your joints. Um, all right, number two, jaundice. Okay, you start looking a little yellow in the whites of the eye and even the skin. Three is constipation. Why? Because bile lubricates the colon. Um, now, if you have too much bile, you get diarrhea, by the way. And as a side note, if you have diarrhea, you don't want to take bile salts because that'll make it worse. All right, number four, you could develop a fatty liver if you're bile deficient. Also, bloating because bile helps you digest, especially fat. So if you're getting undigested fat, um, stuff is going to sit there longer and you're going to feel more bloated. You might burp and belch. That's a sign of a sluggish gallbladder. All right, number six, your stool floats. Why? Because you're not digesting fat and the fat ends up in your stool and it will float. Or your stool is light colored. You may develop gallstones as a symptom of a bile deficiency because bile is there to help prevent gallstones. Now, why would you be deficient in the first place? Well, maybe you're on a low fat diet. You're not consuming saturated fats that are the stimulants to release bile. Or let's say you have a fatty liver because bile is made from your liver. It's stored in the gallbladder, but it's made from the liver. So if there's damage in the liver, either a fatty liver, it's inflamed, or you have cirrhosis, that could be why you're not producing the bile. Or let's say you don't have a gallbladder, it was removed. Well, you're gonna be bile deficient, in which case you need to take some bile salts after the meal. All right, no gut bacteria or lesser amounts of gut bacteria. Your bacteria is there to help you recycle bile. Over 90% of the bile in your body is recycled. And when you eat, your body is very efficient at recycling this bile over and over and over to extract more and more of these nutrients from the food that you're eating. So we really need this gut bacteria for that. Or let's say you have a damaged GI system where you have scar tissue in the colon. And guess what? That's gonna create the lack of absorption of bile salts. So you don't have that full recycling anymore because only a little bit of it's getting through. Uh, so whether you have Crohn's or irritable bowel syndrome or some past damage with your GI tract, that could limit your bile, in which case you might need to substitute and take some bile to achieve um, the right amounts. All right, guys, see you in the next video. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.